Hello, this is a question for primary 6 on speed and time. At 10.15 a.m., Alice left town X for town Y, driving at a speed of 80 km per hour throughout her journey. At 11.15 a.m., Bobby also left town X for town Y, driving at a certain speed. He kept to the same speed throughout his journey. At 1.15 p.m., both of them passed a patrol station that was 100 kilometers away from town Y. What was Bobby's driving speed? How many minutes earlier did Bobby reach town Y than Alice? We will first underline all the keywords in the question. So we have 10.15 a.m. 80 km per hour, 11.15 a.m., 1.15 p.m., and 100 km. Let us now draw a timeline to show all the information. This would be town X, town Y, and the patrol station. And we are told that the distance between the patrol station and town Y is 100 kilometers. Alice left town X at 10.15 a.m. and travel at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Bobby left town X at 11.15 a.m. driving at a certain speed. We also know that both Alice and Bobby would pass patrol station at 1.15 p.m. Based on this information, we can actually find out the time taken by Alice to pass the patrol station. So if Alice left town X at 10.15 a.m. and reached and passed the patrol station at 1.15 p.m., the time taken would be 3 hours. How do we find this? 12 noon is actually 1200 hours. So one fifteen PM is also thirteen point one five. So we take this thirteen point one five minus ten fifteen. This would give us three hours.
so between x and p we can indicate here 3 hours Now that we know that it would take 3 hours for Alice to reach P, we can therefore find the distance between X and P. We know that Alice's average speed is 80 km per hour. That means the distance between X and P would be 80 times 3 and this would give us 240 kilometers. In our model, this is 240 kilometers. With this information, we can therefore find the driving speed of Bobby. Since Bobby left town X at 11.15 a.m. and passed P at 1.15 p.m., this means Bobby took two hours to reach P. Again, we can compute the time taken by Bobby here. Thirteen fifteen minus eleven fifteen. This would give us two hours. Since Bobby took two hours to reach the patrol station, which is 240 kilometers away, we can therefore calculate Bobby's driving speed. So B Bobby's driving speed is 240 kilometers over 2 hours and this would give us 100 and 20 kilometers per hour. This is Bobby's driving speed. Next, we are supposed to find out how many minutes earlier Bobby reached Town Y than Alice. We know that Town Y is 100 kilometers away from the patrol station and we know that Bobby's average speed is 120 kilometers per hour and Alice's average speed is 80 kilometers per hour. So to find the time taken by each person to travel 100 kilometers, we will calculate the distance over the average speed. So Alice's time would be hundred kilometers which is the distance over Alice's speed of 80 kilometers per hour and this would give us 5 over 4 of an hour. Bobby's time would be 100 kilometers 
over his speed of 120 kilometers and this would give us 5 over 6 of an hour. To find the difference we will calculate Alice's speed minus Bobby's sorry Alice's time minus Bobby's time this would be 5 over 4 of an hour minus 5 over 6 of an hour this would give us a common denominator of 12 multiplied by 3 this would give us 15 and we multiply by 2 this would give us 10 the answer would be 5 over 12 of an hour to convert the, uh, convert the fraction to minutes 5 over 12 multiplied by 60 minutes this would give us 25 minutes so going back to the question how many minutes earlier did Bobby reach town Y than Alice our answer would be Bobby reach town Y 25 minutes earlier than Alice. Thank you.